This is code.org, and we want to know what this program does. Students, keep in mind, once you write something here in Smack Run, you can't change it. It's submitted to your teacher. So if that's me, it's submitted to me. If that's not me, it's submitted to your teacher, and you can't change it. You want to think about this carefully, and consider what is actually happening. All right, so let's take a look. Public class, public, okay, we got the void. We create a painter plus object, and... We do that because we have this class over here, right? We're instantiating. Painter Plus gets all the stuff that Painter has because we extend Painter. Super keyword means that uh, move method and all of that, everything Painter could do, Painter Plus can do, except also we can use turn right for Painter Plus. Cool. While or while my Painter Plus, which is this, is on bucket, my Painter Plus take paint. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, what about this one? While, or wall, my painter plus has paint, painter plus move, painter plus paint white. So, when thinking about this, one, I'm going to use that fancy word, boolean, we need to think about how we have seen if statements, or conditional statements, right? If. Oh, I can't edit this. Of course not. But if statements allow us to decide something, like if five is greater than two, and then we would run the code inside. Let me, let me actually, it's going to drive me nuts if I can't show you something. Let me, I have some ifs in here, but regardless, for example, if we'll say my painter uh, has paint, we'll pretend that's a thing. Uh, we'll then do, I, I don't know, uh, my or painter dot paint something like this, right? This is an if statement. So this is a real quick example. This is an if or a conditional statement. All that's happening, we've seen this. Everything in between these curly brackets, I could put this 10 times, I can put other code, will only run, it only runs if and only if this is true. So right now it says painter has paint. If this says if, uh, let's say five equals equals five, that just means is equal to, well, this is true. So then we would paint. And if I said 77 is equal to 5, this is not true. So the computer would check this. It would be false. This is the Boolean. This is the condition, right? A conditional is this. We're asking the computer a question. If this is true, do this. If it's not true, and not true, it would jump over these curly brackets and do whatever code's down here. If this is true, it must drop in, run the code inside of these curly brackets, and then it can run the code beneath it, okay? So this is going to be exactly how this while loop functions. While. So as long as something is true, it repeats. So the computer says, okay, as long as this is true, this isn't true at all, so this would never run. But as long as this was true, I'm going to do this. Oh, and this has me paint, 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 hit the bottom, back to the top. Okay, is this still true? Paint, paint, paint. And maybe my condition is something like, I don't know, uh, this isn't a real thing you can do, but have painted 10 times, all right? So what would happen if this worked, if this was a thing that we could do, it would run and say, oh, we haven't painted it all yet. Oh, okay, so I have to, or wall under painted 10 times. So we, ha we have to get to 10. And it will run through this. We paint three times, hits this, goes back to the top and says, wait, have we painted 10 times? Nope, we've only painted three. Three more, three more. And on the fourth time, right, we would have painted 11, uh, no, four times, three is 12. We would have painted 12 times. At that point, it would say, oh, are we under 10? False, that is not true. And then it runs the code beneath. So a while loop works very similar to an if statement. It just repeats. The second this is not true, it doesn't run. All right. That being said, so what do I think this is going to do? Now, plagiarism is thing. I'm throwing down my thoughts. My thoughts aren't yours, but I do want you to understand this. So let's see. What would this do? My painter move as long as the... I'll throw some stuff down and talk about it. Okay, so this is my super quick kind of me summarizing. You need to word this in your own words real good, and who knows, maybe I'm wrong. As long as it's true, 
the painter is going to be picking up paint. So if I'm on the bucket, I bet what we're going to do is take paint. Oh, are you still on the bucket? Take paint. Are you still on the bucket? And then once we've taken all the paint, the bucket's gone. So then it's false. We drop below. And then as long as we have paint, what are we going to do? As long as we have paint, we'll paint a square, paint a square, paint a square and move, paint a square and move, as long as there's paint. So probably five times. But I'll let you get into specifics with your answer because you want a detailed answer. How many times do you think we will take paint? How many times do you think we'll move and paint? Think about that. Yeah? One more time. Boom. Make sure you have detailed answers. You really want to understand this. If you're not sure, go back and watch this again. It's going to help so much throughout. Onward.